This is Raised by Gypsies, Mark Hicks. And I don't normally make videos like this, but live science comes across my desk every day with this type of propaganda. And that's truly all it is, is just propaganda. And, uh, you know, I get tired of looking at it. Normally what I do is I just scroll down to the bottom and uh, go into where the uh, comments are made. And I make comments in there and argue with whatever global warmer wants to argue with me. But uh, I decided to make a video because maybe I can reach out to more people and more sensible people. Anyways, um, <clears throat> and this stuff is going on in our culture every day, every minute of every day. Uh, propaganda is being put out there. And let me show you why this is a good example of that. Okay, again, it comes from Live Science. And uh, the title is Climate Change is Causing Fish to Shrink. Climate change is causing fish to shrink, not grow smaller, meaning when they're hatched, they don't grow as big as they used to. It's causing fish to shrink. They were bigger and now they're smaller. And then they show you this picture right here. Okay, you can see this came from August 23rd, yesterday right here. And uh, they show you this picture here. And it says, measuring the size of cod caught in the North Sea, new research helps to explain why climate change is causing fish to shrink in size. Shrink in size. And then they show you these two fish here. And uh, I'll tell you what, you know, I'm not a fisherman. I used to fish when I was a kid. And uh, this looks like fish that were sitting on, uh, you know, that, that died, a big fish bit them and killed them or something and uh, they uh, ended up on the shore uh, and they were in the sun for three days look at look at this I mean it's and then they then they verify it by putting a, uh, a ruler in the top you know a steel ruler at that this is real stuff man this is a steel ruler and uh, and it measures out to about 20 millimeter and or 19 uh, I, excuse me, 19 centimeters right in there. And so I looked up to see what 19 centimeters and that equals seven inches. Okay. Well, so this is a seven inch fish here that, uh, that they pulled out of somewhere. And, uh, they're using this as the example of how fish are shrinking. So I thought, well, what the heck, you know, I don't know nothing about North Atlantic cod or anything. How big is a North Atlantic cod usually? And uh, so I looked it up in the old Wikipedia here. And uh, it says right here that the largest individual on record was six feet long and weighed 211 pounds. However, uh, usually the cod is between 24 inches and four feet long, weighing about 88 pounds. Uh, there's generally no difference in weight in size between the sexes of an Atlantic cod. Okay, well. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is a great example. And, you know, somebody didn't take two minutes to look and see, you know, what does a cod normally look like? Uh, they would think, holy crap. You know, I, I, next time I go to uh, McDonald's, they're not even going to be able to uh, fill the bun with the cod. It's so small. Okay, so <laughs> I, I uh, okay, so I went and took a look out here, and I just searched out North Atlantic cod fishery uh, to it in twenty seventeen. I wanted to see samples of fish that were caught this year in the North Atlantic. So they had some pictures like this, and uh, look at that. Uh, let's take a closer look at that if we can get to it. There we go. And here they are. And you know what? I don't see any fish in here that look resemble anything like they showed. 
and that's this year. And uh, I don't know what to say here. You know, they must think we're all stupid and we're not going to go out there and look, for God's sakes. You know, this is how they, they push their agenda. You know, it's through fear. It, it, here you're looking at this, and uh, <laughs> like I said, it's not even going to fill the bond anymore. You know, how are we ever going to get along without our fish sandwich? Okay, so and then they go in and uh, they say, okay, new research published in the journal. What journal is that? The Global Change Biology Journal. That's the one that it's published in. Well, <laughs> all right, yeah. Okay, I, mean, I don't even know what to say about that. All right, uh, and they uh, quote the uh, scientists here, you know, that they're leading guys uh, kind of thing. And uh, they came into, where did I read that? Came into the discovery. Scientists suspected, right here, scientists suspected that climate change was the culprit. But we're unsure how warming waters could lead to fish shrinkage across entire species. So they thought that climate change was the problem, but they didn't know how it could affect across an entire species. I don't know that <laughs> that doesn't quite make sense to me. Uh, you know how you're a scientist. I mean, okay. So what do you do to test this? You take a fish and you put them in water where they usually are, and then you heat it up. <laughs> you know, it's like, and then you watch the effects of it. So now they came down to they figured it out now. They figured it out. Warming waters will leave fish gasping for air and shrinking in size. And here they show you a picture. Here it is right here. Here's the fish. It was this size. And now it's going to be that size, you know, in 50 years if we don't do something about this. Because warmer water doesn't have enough air. You know, so then you got to ask yourself, how is this affecting uh, the lakes? How about the fish in, in, in the lake near me here? And, uh, you know, when the water gets warm there, what do they do? This is crazy stuff, people. This is absolutely <laughs> nothing but propaganda, fear propaganda. Keep you afraid, and if you are afraid, you are able to be controlled. That's all this is. There is nothing here that has any substance to it. You know, you quote this guy, you quote that guy, big deal. I can say a lot of things too, but there's nothing here to back it. And here is a real clincher right here. Look at this. Here. He said the most effective way to prevent these problems from occurring is to mitigate carbon dioxide emissions. And there you have it, right there. That's the answer to mitigate carbon dioxide emissions. Well, let's talk about just how they do that. Okay, they show you these smokestacks from a power plant, all right? And it's accredited to the Library of Congress. Woo! Yeah, there ain't no crooks in there. And uh, so they show you this picture of all this smoke going into our atmosphere and, and all this carbon dioxide. And oh my, we should be scared. Well, you think about this. And he says, you've got to mitigate carbon dioxide emissions. All right, so how do you do this? You get an electric car is one of the ways, right? A Tesla car. Yeah, in fact, it, it, when they make Tesla cars, they get carbon credits for that. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I'll tell you what, folks. 
To make those batteries that go into those cars, it takes a lot of current. And also, to recharge those batteries that are in those cars, it takes a lot of current, electrical current. Where does that electrical current come from? That comes from a power plant. Yeah. And in that power plant, they, a lot of times they burn coal. The reason why they burn coal is to make steam. Because the steam is what turns the turbines to create the electricity. So you can recharge your efficient cars. You see the irony in here? You see the craziness that we're involved in? That's why this is all a hoax. This is all made up. There's nothing that... There is no absolute empirical proof global warming even exists other than in somebody's mind. So, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I hope you like this. Uh, sometimes I just like to rant and rave. and Sometimes just pressing the keyboard isn't enough. And I'll leave a link and you can go in there and, and leave your comments in there too. And let these live science people know that this isn't really science. By the way, science is observable, testable, and repeatable. Okay, and showing me a couple of fish that rolled up on the shore. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it's observable. Uh, take care. Take care of the ones you love. Until next time, peace.